Johnson East 12th in Kansas City. This, folks, is where the legend of the millionaire Sarah Rector starts. And for many, it's just that, a legend. Sarah Rector was Kansas City's first black millionaires. According to some reports, Sarah went from a shoeless poor child to living at Rector Mansion. Starts receiving proposals, a good schooling, and media coverage on the daily. She went to the university. A woman named Sarah Rector moved to KC in the early 1900s with fame and wealth. Our Rudy Harper shares her rich history. Meet Sarah Rector, a name obscured by history but deserving of the spotlight. In a world dominated by tales of tycoons and magnates, Rector's story stands as an astonishing testament to resilience and triumph. Unbeknownst to 96% of the population, she emerged as the greatest oil mogul of all time, shattering racial and gender barriers in early 20th century America. Sarah Rector's life took an unexpected turn when, at the age of 10, she became a millionaire overnight. A land allotment through the Dawes Act granted her ownership of oil-rich acres in Oklahoma, catapulting her into a realm of unimaginable wealth. However, the narrative extends beyond mere affluence. Rector's journey is a tale of empowerment, defying societal norms that sought to confine her. This extraordinary woman navigated the complexities of wealth, racism, and power, leaving an indelible mark on history. Yet, her legacy remains largely overlooked, overshadowed by the narratives of her contemporaries. Join us as we unveil the remarkable saga of Sarah Rector, an unsung heroine whose indomitable spirit and groundbreaking achievements deserve recognition in the annals of entrepreneurship and African-American history. Born into poverty in 1902, Sarah Rector's early life was a testament to the resilience and fortitude that would later define her extraordinary journey. Hailing from Twine, Oklahoma, a small community within the Creek Nation, Sarah's family grappled with the harsh realities of economic hardship in an era marked by racial segregation and discrimination. The socioeconomic challenges faced by African-American families in the early 20th century were particularly pronounced, and the rectors were no exception. In the midst of systemic inequality and racial prejudice, Sarah's childhood was shaped by the struggles of poverty that seemed to be the unchanging backdrop of her early years. The turning point in Sarah's life came with the implementation of the Dawes Act in 1887, a piece of legislation designed to address land ownership issues among Native American tribes. However, its unintended consequences were profound, leading to the distribution of individual land allotments. In this complex web of historical change, Sarah's family became recipients of a land allotment that included oil-rich acres. This unexpected windfall was a seismic shift for the Rector family, and particularly for young Sarah. Overnight, the trajectory of her life transformed from one of scarcity to one of abundance. The land allotment not only lifted them from the grips of poverty, but positioned Sarah as a key figure in the burgeoning oil industry, an industry that would come to define her legacy. Sarah Rector's sudden wealth at the age of 10 was an unexpected twist of fate intertwined with the intricate complexities of the Dawes Act of 1887. This legislation, designed to address land ownership issues among Native American tribes, inadvertently became the catalyst for her extraordinary transformation. The Dawes Act sought to break up communal tribal lands and allocate individual parcels to tribal members. In Sarah's case, her family, part of the Creek Nation, became recipients of a land allotment that included valuable oil-rich acres in Twine, Oklahoma. This seemingly arbitrary distribution of land, dictated by the changing tides of history, set the stage for Sarah's remarkable journey from obscurity to opulence. The oil-rich acres proved to be the golden ticket that lifted Sarah and her family from the depths of poverty to the pinnacle of wealth. Overnight, she transitioned from a life defined by scarcity to one of abundance. The land allotment bestowed upon her became the foundation of her newfound affluence and influence in the burgeoning oil industry. The circumstances leading to her sudden wealth were not just a strokey of luck. 
They were a product of historical forces and legislative actions that reshaped the destiny of many Native American families. The unintended consequences of the Dawes Act provided Sarah with an opportunity that transcended the socioeconomic constraints of her upbringing. Sarah's journey from obscurity to opulence is intricately tied to the land allotment she received through the Dawes Act of 1887, a pivotal moment in American history that reshaped the destiny of Native American communities. The details of this land allotment not only illuminate the transformative power of legislation, but also underscore the unforeseen opportunities it presented to individuals like Sarah. The Dawes Act aimed to break up tribal lands held in common by Native American communities and allocate individual parcels to tribal members. Her family, belonging to the Creek Nation, found themselves recipients of such an allotment, a seemingly routine event that would, in reality, alter the course of their lives. Within this land allotment lay the key to Sarah's sudden wealth, oil-rich acres in Twine, Oklahoma. The economic significance of these acres cannot be overstated, as they positioned Sarah and her family at the forefront of the burgeoning oil industry. What might have been a mere distribution of land became the catalyst for an extraordinary transformation, catapulting the rectors from the margins of poverty to the pinnacle of affluence. The impact of this land allotment went beyond economic prosperity. It symbolized a profound shift in social status and influence. Sarah, once a child born into the shadows of poverty, emerged as a figure of prominence in an industry dominated by wealthy magnates. The land allotted through the Dawes Act was the foundation upon which her opulence was built, and it opened doors that were previously unimaginable. Rector's extraordinary wealth was intricately tied to the geographical backdrop of her oil-rich acres in Oklahoma, a region that would become the stage for her ascent into prominence within the burgeoning oil industry. This geographical landscape not only symbolized newfound prosperity, but also positioned her as a key player in an industry that would define her legacy. The oil-rich acres, situated in Twine, Oklahoma, were more than just parcels of land. They were reservoirs of untapped potential. In the early 20th century, Oklahoma was emerging as a significant player in the American oil boom, and Sarah Rector's holdings placed her at the heart of this economic transformation. The soil beneath her feet bore the promise of black gold, a valuable resource that would propel her into the echelons of wealth and influence. The geographical significance of her land was not limited to its economic potential. It represented a shift in the socio-economic landscape for Sarah and her family. From the modest surroundings of Twine, they found themselves on the cusp of an industry that was reshaping the nation. The oil-rich acres became a symbol of opportunity, a piece of land that held the key to a future far removed from the poverty of their early years. Moreover, the geographical backdrop of Rector's wealth was part of a broader narrative of the American frontier, a tale of pioneers and visionaries seeking prosperity in uncharted territories. Sarah Rector, albeit unwittingly, became a modern-day pioneer in the realm of oil, navigating the complexities of an industry that was transforming the nation. However, the geographical richness of her land also brought challenges. It placed her at the crossroads of economic power and societal expectations, particularly as a young African-American girl in a racially segregated America. The juxtaposition of wealth and prejudice added layers of complexity to her story, making her journey not only one of economic success, but also a narrative of resilience in the face of societal norms. The land allocated to Sarah Rector through the Dawes Act situated in the oil-rich region of Twine, Oklahoma, carried profound economic implications that went beyond the boundaries of mere soil. Unpacking the significance of this land reveals not only the untapped wealth beneath the surface, but also the pivotal role it played in shaping Sarah's destiny as a formidable force in the oil industry. The economic potential of the oil-rich acres was staggering. Beneath the soil lay reservoirs of crude oil, a commodity that was rapidly becoming one of the most sought-after resources in the early 20th century. The significance of this land was not merely local, 
but extended to the national stage, contributing to the American oil boom that was reshaping the country's economic landscape. Sarah, unintentionally propelled into this economic tide, became the owner of a resource that held the promise of unparalleled prosperity. The oil industry was a realm traditionally dominated by wealthy and predominantly white magnates. However, Sarah's ownership of these oil-rich acres disrupted this established narrative. It was a testament to her accidental entry into a world where individuals of her background were seldom seen. The land became the cornerstone of her unexpected ascent, establishing her as a formidable force in an industry where her presence was both unprecedented and groundbreaking. The economic implications of Sarah Rector's land went beyond personal wealth. It marked a shift in the dynamics of power within the oil industry, challenging preconceived notions of who could hold influence in this economic arena. Her holdings became a symbol of empowerment, not just for herself, but for those who could now envision a pathway to success in an industry previously perceived as inaccessible. Furthermore, the economic significance of the land played a pivotal role in shaping Sarah's legacy. Her prominence in the oil industry was not merely a footnote in history, it was a chapter that demonstrated the resilience of an individual faced with unexpected wealth and societal challenges. The oil-rich acres became the stage upon which she not only amassed economic success, but also etched her name into the narrative of American entrepreneurship and African-American achievement. Sarah Rector's journey from obscurity to opulence was not devoid of immense societal challenges, particularly given the racial prejudices prevalent in the early century. As a young black woman in a society marked by systemic racism and segregation, Rector faced hurdles that transcended the economic success brought about by her oil-rich acres. The early 1900s were characterized by deeply entrenched racial discrimination, and Sarah's newfound wealth thrust her into the limelight as a prominent figure, challenging societal norms. Her elevated status as a wealthy African-American girl posed a threat to the established order, triggering a wave of scrutiny and skepticism. Sarah's experiences encapsulated the paradox of navigating both privilege and prejudice. Despite her considerable wealth, she faced limitations imposed by a racially segregated society that sought to confine individuals based on skin color. Her story becomes a poignant illustration of the intersectionality of race and gender, as she confronted the dual challenges of being both black and a woman in a society that often deemed such individuals as inherently inferior. Sarah Rector's ascent to prominence in the early 20th century was nothing short of a groundbreaking feat as she shattered both racial and gender barriers in a world predominantly governed by white male magnates. Navigating the uncharted territory of wealth as a black woman, Sarah faced a dual challenge that showcased not only her resilience, but also her indomitable determination. In an era marked by deeply ingrained racial prejudices, her success disrupted the established narrative of white economic supremacy. As a young black woman, she entered the exclusive domain of oil magnates, challenging the societal norms that dictated who could hold economic influence. Sarah's story became a beacon of hope for marginalized communities, illustrating that success transcends racial boundaries. Simultaneously confronting gender stereotypes, Sarah Rector demonstrated that a woman could wield power and influence in an industry traditionally dominated by men. Her journey was a testament to the strength required to navigate a landscape where gender roles were strictly defined, proving that her capabilities were not limited by societal expectations based on her gender. Sarah's resilience in the face of racial and gender adversity echoes through history as a powerful narrative of triumph. By breaking barriers, she not only secured her own place in the oil industry, but paved the way for future generations of women and people of color to envision a path to success unbounded by the limitations imposed by a society entrenched in discriminatory norms. Beyond the facade of affluence, Sarah Rector's life unfolds as a complex tapestry woven with challenges, triumphs, and societal intricacies. 
Her journey from poverty to unimaginable wealth was not merely a linear trajectory, but a nuanced exploration of the intersections of race, gender, and economic status. Unraveling the complexities of Rector's life reveals the multi-layered nature of her experiences. As a young black woman in the early 20th century, she navigated a society rife with racial prejudices and gender stereotypes. Her wealth, rather than shielding her from these challenges, added an additional layer of scrutiny, as she became a figure of both inspiration and contention. The societal expectations placed upon her as a woman of color with substantial wealth were formidable. Sarah's choices, actions, and public persona were scrutinized in a way that transcended the ordinary pitfalls of adolescence. The complexities of managing newfound riches while challenging societal norms required a level of resilience and wisdom beyond her years. Her story extends beyond the economic success of her oil-rich acres, delving into the intricacies of managing wealth in a racially segregated society. Navigating the complexities of both privilege and prejudice, Sarah exemplified a unique blend of strength and adaptability. The decisions she made, whether financial, social, or personal, reflect the intricate dance between individual agency and societal expectations. Furthermore, the complexities of Rector's life offer a lens through which to examine broader societal issues. Her experiences illuminate the disparities in access to opportunities, the challenges faced by marginalized communities, and the transformative potential of breaking through systemic barriers. Sarah Rector's journey from poverty to opulence not only redefined her economic status, but also prompted a profound exploration of how she managed her newfound wealth, navigated complex social dynamics, and made choices that transcended mere financial success, leaving an enduring legacy. Managing the sudden influx of wealth at a young age presented Sarah with unique challenges. Her astute financial decisions, however, showcased a maturity beyond her years. Reports indicate that she invested wisely, acquiring real estate and government bonds. Her approach to wealth management reflected a keen understanding of the volatile nature of economic success, especially for a black woman in a racially stratified society. The social dynamics Sarah encountered were equally intricate. As a wealthy African-American girl in the early 20th century, she became a subject of both admiration and scrutiny. Her presence challenged the racial norms of the time, eliciting reactions that ranged from celebration to skepticism. Navigating this social landscape required a delicate balance between asserting her newfound status and confronting the prevailing racial prejudices. Beyond financial success, Sarah's choices defined a legacy that extended beyond the boundaries of wealth. She became a trailblazer in a male-dominated industry, challenging gender norms and inspiring future generations. Her philanthropic endeavors, including funding schools and churches, underscored a commitment to community upliftment, cementing her legacy as a socially conscious entrepreneur. Sarah's choices were a testament to her resilience and determination to shape a narrative that defied societal expectations. By embracing her role as an influential figure, she not only secured her place in history, but also paved the way for others to challenge systemic barriers. Her legacy, therefore, becomes a narrative of empowerment, breaking social boundaries, and leaving an indelible mark on the broader tapestry of African American history. In exploring how Sarah Rector managed her wealth, negotiated social dynamics, and made choices beyond financial success, we uncover a story that goes beyond the surface of affluence. It becomes a narrative of empowerment, resilience, and a legacy that continues to inspire and resonate in the ongoing pursuit of equality and opportunity. Sarah Rector's status as the greatest oil mogul of her time is undoubtedly remarkable, yet her story has endured a historical oversight that has left it largely unknown. This oversight raises critical questions about the selective remembrance of individuals who challenge established norms, especially those from marginalized communities. 
One key factor contributing to the historical oversight is the pervasive racial bias that has shaped historical narratives. In an era marked by systemic racism, the achievements of black individuals were often marginalized or omitted from mainstream historical accounts. Sarah Rector's story, occurring at the intersection of race and gender, faced the dual challenge of being both a woman and a person of color in an era when the historical record was dominated by white perspectives. Moreover, the historical oversight surrounding Rector's achievements can be attributed to the broader societal tendency to focus on narratives that align with prevailing norms. The narrative of a young black girl defying racial and gender expectations and amassing wealth was perhaps too radical for the dominant historical discourse of the early 20th century. Her success may have been perceived as a disruption to the established social order, prompting a collective reluctance to acknowledge and celebrate her accomplishments. Furthermore, the economic interests of the time may have played a role in overshadowing Sarah Rector's story. In an era where oil magnates were predominantly white and male, the narrative of a black woman entering their ranks may have been intentionally downplayed to maintain existing power structures and economic hierarchies. As society grapples with historical oversights, there is a growing recognition of the importance of reclaiming and amplifying marginalized voices. Sarah Rector's story, despite its historical neglect, is gradually gaining the attention it deserves. By shedding light on this oversight, we not only acknowledge Rector's significant contributions, but also engage in a broader conversation about the need to reassess and redefine historical narratives to be more inclusive and representative of the diverse experiences that have shaped our collective history. Recognizing and celebrating the contributions of Sarah Rector to entrepreneurship and African-American history is not merely an act of historical rectification. It is an essential step towards fostering a more inclusive and accurate understanding of the diverse narratives that have shaped our collective past. Sarah Rector's achievements as the greatest oil mogul of her time transcend the boundaries of mere economic success. Her story challenges ingrained stereotypes about race and gender, offering a powerful counter-narrative to the prevailing historical discourse. By acknowledging her contributions, we affirm the resilience, innovation, and entrepreneurial spirit that exist within marginalized communities, particularly African-American women. Celebrating Sarah Rector's legacy, is a crucial step in dismantling historical oversights and rectifying the erasure of black voices. It acknowledges that historical narratives have been shaped by systemic biases and works towards correcting this imbalance. Through this recognition, we ensure that future generations are presented with a more accurate portrayal of the multifaceted contributions of African Americans to the economic and cultural landscape of the United States. Moreover, Sarah Rector's story serves as an inspirational beacon for aspiring entrepreneurs, especially within the African-American community. Her journey from poverty to opulence, coupled with her resilience in the face of societal challenges, provides a blueprint for overcoming adversity and achieving success. Celebrating her contributions becomes a means of empowering individuals who may see their own potential reflected in her story. In the broader context of African-American history, Sarah Rector becomes a symbol of triumph and possibility. By recognizing her achievements, we honor the perseverance of generations who faced systemic injustices and celebrate their resilience in overcoming obstacles. It contributes to a more holistic understanding of the African-American experience, emphasizing not only struggle, but also triumph and contribution to various facets of society. In conclusion, recognizing and celebrating Sarah Rector's contributions to entrepreneurship and African-American history is a transformative act. It rectifies historical oversights, empowers future generations, and contributes to a more inclusive narrative that reflects the richness and diversity of America's past. 